Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having Hyundai, Kia, any engine practically guys. You have a check engine light on and any of the two codes I'm talking about code P2195 or code P2270. Stay with us, we'll explain what, what most likely causes that, how to fix it. And uh, it could be quite a few things actually guys. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get at the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. That way we can keep making these free videos for you. If you need to buy any parts, tools for your Kia guys, for a really good price and quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below. You can find parts and tools for any car at amazing price. That's where we get all our tools and supplies from. So that's a Hyundai Kia engine. We got it out of that Hyundai. Uh, we can demonstrate everything that way really good we made a video how to rebuild that engine completely that's a scanner that we use for the codes many of you requested that information i'll put the link in the description of the video below if you want to check the current price and features works on hyundai kia and almost any car you can think of guys it's an all system scanner that can pay itself off in one time use so if you have any of these codes p20 195 or 2270 what it means you need to come to the exhaust system of your hyundai kia engine guys and the first sensor right here is known as an upstream oxygen sensor on the exhaust it detects how much fuel and air you have in the exhaust so practically guys okay if you have lean fuel mixture it means that the engine needs to add more fuel it's going to tell that to the engine computer which will spray more fuel or will restrict a little bit of air so you have a nice balanced fuel mixture or if it's rich the other way around but code p2195 indicates that you have a lean fuel mixture now lean fuel mixture and the oxygen sensor is trying to compensate okay by sending the signal to the computer the computer is trying to compensate by uh, trying to restrict the let's say uh, the air or adding more fuel and if it does it for too long it will get stuck in that code p2195 uh, okay and it will relate to okay having lean fuel mixture now a uh, few things can cause that stay with us we'll explain but then 2270 code guys is for a uh, Oxygen sensor, bank one sensor, two, this is the second oxygen sensor right after the catalytic converter. Practically it's detecting the same thing that after the catalytic converter you still have lean fuel mixture. So what can cause that now guys? Okay, now number, num number one thing, vacuum leak. What vacuum leak means? Means that you have an air leak somewhere on the engine, intake, uh, loose hose, uh, vacuum leak, broken vacuum line, anything like that that will suck more air and as a result you will have not balanced mixture for a long time and you will get these two codes or just one of them. We have a special video that explains about every possible vacuum leak on a Hyundai Kia engine. Check it out, it's on a GDI engine but it will be helpful on other engines as well. Number two, dirty fuel injectors guys. If you have fuel injectors that are not spraying enough fuel, you can easily get that code. Number three, malfunctioning fuel injector. Poured up fuel injector can cause that as well. Number four, bad fuel rail pressure sensor, the fuel pressure sensor, bad fuel regulator, bad fuel pump, or dirty fuel filter. All of these things will actually cause the car not to get enough fuel, and as a result, it will be lean fuel mixture, not enough fuel, more air, and it will be picked by the oxygen sensor. So those are some of the most common ones and in some cases it could be even bad oxygen sensor we'll have a video that explains how to test oxygen sensor so check it out it will teach you how to do that but it's not very very complicated so uh, those are some of the most common things now something you don't uh, you hope it's not it could be a bad engine computer in some cases and it will need to be uh, fixed or uh, replaced uh, but most common, check fuel problems, vacuum leaks, then check oxygen sensors and go from there, guys. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you next time.